What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, bro. Some crazy news and this is kind of a throwback for me too, but I guess we'll talk about the throwbackness in a second, but some news came out or some rumors, whatever, that Motorola is apparently making two new phones. Okay, so they're making the Motorola one. I don't know too much about that. I'm not even going to talk about that. I don't really think that's going to be too interesting, but the second one that I saw was the newly improved Motorola Razr. Now, I have the original Motorola Razr, which you can see on the screen, and I was going to do a double eye smile on it. I just kept like postponing it but i might actually do an updated one on that right now or maybe like tomorrow it's whatever next week if you guys want to see it to kind of see how that one holds up but it's crazy that they're actually making a newly improved version of this and at first if you remember a couple years ago there were some new rumors going around that motorola is going to make an updated one it was pretty much going to look exactly like the older one i don't really know too much about it but believe it or not one of my first videos that i ever made was about that original leak or whatever rumor that motorola made that ad i think it was back in 2016 and i made that video and it's crazy that this whole entire thing is kind of going full circle that I'm talking about it again so many years later, you know? I never even thought I was going to make it this far. So here's kind of what we're working with. Now, this rumor kind of came out from the Bluetooth 5.0, I guess, like documents within it. Now, I don't know too much about that. I'll try to leave a link in the description talking more about that specific leak. But some of these renders that I made of it are completely horrible. Let me tell you, I'm so sorry that you guys have to see these. But this kind of gives you an idea of what it could potentially bring. Now, if you want to see some better ones, you guys can go to a different person. But it's really, really hard to make a full holding concept especially when it's a flip phone so this is what's so different about it it's like with the samsung galaxy fold and the huawei mate x or whatever whatever that phone is called you fold it in half pretty much of like the vertically you fold it in half but this one the motorola razor you're folding it horizontally now i might have switched up the name of those but regardless you're flipping one like a flip phone the other like a book so it's really hard to make even the renders that I show on the screen right now. So hopefully you guys don't beat me up too much. I'm sorry. But honestly, looking at it, it's kind of goofy a little bit, especially the one where I'm showing the front of the phone when it's closed. Like, obviously, that's not what it's going to look like, but it could potentially be. I don't know. So based off what other people are saying, these are kind of the specification that's going to be inside of it. So the screen itself should be somewhere between 6.2 inches to 6.5 inches. What I'm seeing is completely conflicting to a lot of things. So I'm going to say 6.2 to 6.5 inches. It's going to be an OLED panel. Obviously, it has to be in order for it to flip up and down. Now, some people are saying that it's going to come in two different variants. So one with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 chipset, and that one's going to come with 4 gigs of RAM, and another one, 6 gigs of RAM. The base model is going to have 64 gigs of storage. The top model is going to have 128 gigs. And most probably is still going to come with the SD card slot, depending. And I'm mostly saying that because the storage variants from these rumors are pretty low. It's going to have USB Type C on the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's not going to have a headphone jack. Obviously, there's going to be a secondary display outside of it, and I try my best to kind of render what it could look like. Most likely, it's going to take off most of the front of the display. And this is pretty much what we're going to see. Now, there's a lot of things that still need to be cleaned out. The renders could be much better. The specifications could be more thorough, I guess. But this is pretty much what we're working with right now. And honestly, in my opinion, I could totally see meme marketing working on this thing 100%. If you guys don't know what meme marketing is, it's the same type of marketing that kind of blew up that one song with Lil Nas X with the old Town Road where it's like, I got the horses in the back. <laughs> That song was a product of me marketing, all right? And I feel like with the Motorola Razr, a lot of people are going to see this and they're going to bust out laughing and they're gonna be like, who would want this? But it's going to have so much word of mouth and so many people, like so many Instagram accounts, all these people are going to just start like posting about it, like who would want this, whatever, and like your mom like, uses this phone, whatever. I feel like it's going to start going viral in and of itself, just like how that original ad in 2016 went viral. I could totally see that same thing going with this and I love me marketing. <laughs> I don't even know if that's an actual thing, but I'm telling you, if this thing were to go off so many people will be talking about it. It would probably be trending on Twitter. And this is exactly what Motorola needs. Motorola, they try a lot of things and I appreciate them for trying different things. They had that modular phone that one time. The Motorola G series was awesome. But now they kind of need that push, something else different. And I think this newly improved Motorola Razr could be awesome. I don't know too much about the pricing or anything. It's not even released yet. It hasn't even been announced. So it's kind of cool that this thing is most likely 99% going to be released. And I think overall it's awesome. A lot of people have historical flashbacks with the Motorola Razr. So I can't wait for this thing to actually become released. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully next time my renders will be better. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Are you guys excited for this? Are you not? I'm going to read some of the comments, probably all of them, hopefully. So let me know in the comment section below how you're feeling, but hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video, but definitely hit that subscribe button, bro. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.